I watched the Lions versus the Bears and I watched that whole game and the Bears outplayed them. The Bears outplayed the Lions. What is going on with Jared Goff? Jared Goff is one of my favorite quarterbacks because he kind of reminded me of myself. The underdog that everyone doubted that ended up trying to do some stuff and, you know, keeps pressing the head and can, you know, show flashes, right? <laughs> he shows flashes. Jared Goff is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Some days he's top five. Let's just be honest. No one draft pick. Jared Goff is a good, good, good quarterback. Any team would be lucky to have him, be honest with you. But the Bears beat them for four, well, three quarters and a half. <laughs> and then the Lions just pulled it out. The Lions are eight and two, first time since 1962. This lets you know that the Lions are a real team because you go up against a team that has a three and seven record at the time, a team that you've dominated, a team that you've beaten, right? And you expect to go in there, let's just be honest. They say, you know, in the NFL, like, oh, we don't, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't overlook any opponent. Bullshit. <laughs> when you go to work, like a regular job, like I got, like you got, like most people have, right? When you go to a regular fucking job, that random Wednesday, you might just piss off that Wednesday. You might not be productive as productive that Wednesday because it's a Wednesday. You just know it's like a shitty day and you just don't feel like it. You don't feel like going to work anyway. You might blow off a day. But you might come back stronger that Thursday, that Friday, you know? Or you might blow off a Friday. That's the same thing with any team. That's the same thing with any human. It's human nature that if you play a team that you know that you should be able to dominate, you're just not going to show up. But it seemed like the only person that didn't show up was Jared Goff. And he's one of those type of guys that doesn't throw interceptions. So when he throws these weird ass passes, you're just like, oh, Jared is just off today. And then he comes back and wins the game at the end. And that's how you know the Lions are a good team because they can have an awful performance and still win. And see, it's not about every, not every team is going to be the greatest show on turf. That's some bullshit. Not every team is going to be the Miami Dolphins where they can put up 70, 50, 60. Because that shit is not realistic. And it's stupid to think that you can even do that. But good teams are able to have bad days bad quarterback play they're going to be able to have awful running back play they're going to have a bunch of fumbles they're going to uh, throw a bunch of interceptions they're going to have a bunch of fucking stupid penalties and guess what they can still win because they're a good team because like losing the turnover margin if you are a good team then that's okay because you can make up for it with other attributes and that is the thing about the Detroit Lions that I love they are consistently consistent. They put their best foot forward. And when they're having a shitty day, they can still rally as a team. And that is very rare in the NFL. So the Detroit Lions is one of those teams that going into the playoffs, I can trust that when they're down two touchdowns to the Philadelphia Eagles, who are the best running team in the NFL, no matter what the stats say, they'll be able to go ahead and persevere, even if they're in hostile environment. They'll be able to be like, you know what? We can win this game. I trust us. We can get back. And the Lions have the ability to throw deep passes and make big plays. That's the difference. And they have a running back in Gibbs that I trust that is able to go ahead and be that, you know, that third option when the fucking play breaks down. When the passing game breaks down, no one's open. You can pass it to Gibbs and Gibbs can get you 12 yards. I love Montgomery in this offense he's that bruiser thunder and lightning every team has every good team has thunder and lightning they have the big ball then they have the fast speedy guy montgomery's kind of both honestly he's speedy too when he gets out there but he's gonna bruise a defense the detroit lions man they're gonna be a, they're gonna be hell for a lot of teams they're gonna cause problems in the playoffs they could be the number one seed detroit lions fans what about if y'all are the number one seed <laughs> So Detroit played this week. They played, got a really early uh, week this week because, you know, Thanksgiving and everything. But the fact that Detroit Lions are able to persevere when they not having their best game and still win like that to me is the hallmark of a team that is Super Bowl ready. That is, they have that medal. And these are the type of games that prove to your team like, oh, we can fuck up all game and we can still win. We can still win because we can score quick. 
and we have weapons. Williams looks good. You are right, I'm Ross A. Brown. That's just another level of wide receiver. He's like in that Cooper Cup mode, that Puka Nakua mode. <laughs> you know, it's immaculate route running. Can't really, you know, cover him. Two, one, two running backs, rookie tight end. This, I'm so impressed by the Detroit Lions and it's nice to have that team be good. You will, don't be surprised if you catch us live streaming from Detroit Lions playoff game this year. And I'm not a, really a Detroit Lions fan, but it's just nice to see a team like that be able to win. And shout out to the Lions, man. Shout out to coach. Shout out. That's a team right there. That's like, yeah, that's the type of team that you do want to root for. That's the type of team that you want to root for. Have a bad day and still beat the Bears. The Bears, get a new coach. You guys are fine. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying about the Bears. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Do not get rid of Justin Fields. That dude's a weapon out this world. Falcons, if you're looking, trade for his ass if they let him go. Because he is perfect in that team. That boy could play. That boy could play. Justin Fields could play, man. He can do some shit that you can tell that he's the type of quarterback that like players in the NFL respect. Like they like Justin Fields. You can just tell. Like, yeah, that motherfucker, he could ball. But he's just on a bad team. Just on a bad team. But yeah. Let me know, Detroit Lions fans, what you think in the comments below. Because, yeah, that's a scary-ass team. 